Hi guys, you're on warm24.com YouTube channel and today we will disassemble the Samsung Galaxy AO3S with tech number SM037. The assembly has the first difficulty or easy rating in our own scale and will be disassembled by opening the back cover. The back cover is fixed on clips or hooks. On the cover on the side we have a function print sensor and as I understand that its cable will run through the cover. Let's proceed with the assembly. The first thing worth nothing is that we have no card tray, but by analogy with other smartphones, we insert the tool into the hole, the mechanism pushes the tray out and we take it out. We're going to use plastic tool, tweezers, Philips 1.5 mm screwdriver. And so we go to open the back cover. We insert the tool into the location of the card tray. Be careful, the plastic is thin there and it's quite easy to damage the cover. And carefully detach the cover clips along the edges. You also need to be careful in the location of the side buttons and the fingerprint sensor and of course on the corners of the back cover. By the way, a frequently asked question, why do we work with the white gloves? A lot of jokes about it, often a lot of funny jokes too. In general, it's for aesthetic. Um, let me show you what we use instead of gloves in real work. This is anti-static wristband. Uh, it is a simple device to get rid of static electricity. In the video we use gloves, but they are definitely not comfortable to work with. Carefully open the cover and do not forget the cable of the fingerprint sensor. We'll look at the fingerprint sensor and its cable. Now we have two ways to detach the back cover. First, we can hook in this location and detach the fingerprint sensor body and remove the back cover.
You definitely don't want to do that at this point or we might tear the cable. And the second one is when we unscrew the screws, detach the cover and disconnect the connector of the fingerprint sensor cable. In our video I will choose the second way, but you can choose whichever way you prefer. See, the cable is stretched. If you have watched our series of videos why smartphone doesn't charge, then you should know that short cables are a frequent cause of damage to the contacts. But this one I look long enough, maybe they did a work on the mistakes. Who knows? Unscrew the screws, screwdriver Philips 1.5mm or hash 3.0. I don't know if the screws are the same or not, but I will place them in the order in which I will unscrew them. You can place the screws on the table inside, not to mix things up when reassembling. Let's try to detach the cover. Since we haven't disconnected the battery connector yet, we would rather not to use a metal tool. We have a part of the flashlight on the cover. We put it away. Now we disconnect the battery connector and then the fingerprint sensor connector and we can remove the back cover. We move on to unscrewing the screws. At the bottom the screwdriver the same Philips 1.5 mm. Speaking of gloves, we also have to change them quite often. We get devices for repair with uh, oxidation or liquid penetration or dust inside and the gloves quickly get dirty. And they are unfortunately not cheap. We hook the edge and detach the cover with a speaker. In the cover the loudspeaker and the contact pad to the subboard. Now we can disconnect the connectors. Typical assembly, disconnect the interboard cable connector Disconnect the coaxial cable connector. The subboard is slightly recessed and can be fastened 
so we have to gently detach it. On the subboard we have the charging port, the headphone jack port and the microphone. The microphone has the hole in the subboard on the back side. Let's do the traditional test to see if we can damage the microphone. We try to insert the tool into the hole for the microphone and as we can see the hole on the board is perpendicular to the hole in the display model frame. In addition, I feel there is also a gasket with a net or membrane um, and even if we put it in the hole and pierce the net, the microphone on the board is at the top and the tool will go along the board and will not damage anything. This is where we have the vibration motor. Let's move on to disconnecting the connectors. To the display model, the second to the interboard cable and the coaxial cable connector. Disconnect the connectors and remove the rear cameras. The cameras have no copper cover for the headsync, passive head system, but there is a special seating in the display frame that can perform this function. Now we remove the front camera. We need to check if there are no screws. And yes, one screw secures the circuit board. We unscrew one screw. The screwdriver is the same Philips 1.5 mm. And it is really important not to mix up this screw when reassembling. Because it is shorter and it is better to mark it somehow. We pry at the edges and remove the motherboard. On the circuit board, we detach the third rear camera. On the motherboard, we have the microchips under the shields and the cards connector on the back side. Ok, in the frame of the display model we have the earpiece speaker, the side buttons, the contact pad, the battery, the interboard and display model cables, the vibration motor and the coaxial cable. Ok guys, this is the end. 
The text version of this disassembly is already on our website, vrm24.com, with our pictures of the boards and parts. Thank you for watching and see you around! Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.